Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share a word with you guys from the Lord. Amen, amen. Listen, you guys, I just want to jump into it because this word was just burning in me. Um, I know I always talk about my hair. I'm sorry. Well, well, well kind of sorry and kind of not sorry. But um, I, I washed it and just it's just not done yet. But, but. That's okay. That's okay. This word was burning in me and I had to come out to my car and get it recorded. So listen, the first thing is the Lord gave me the number this morning, 601. Okay. And 601 in the um, Strong's Greek Concordance means to uncover, reveal, uncover, bring to light, reveal. And it goes on. Okay. And the um, NAS exhaustive, because you know, when you guys look it up and you go down, it has some other stuff. It says again, reveal, revealed, revelation is made. You guys, this is just, wow. It's just, it's just something. And then it goes on to say also to uncover, lay open what has been veiled or covered up to disclose and to make bare. Let's get into the word of God. Listen, I already prayed. I pray before I get on every word. That's just what I do, okay? So if I don't come on and pray, I already prayed, I always pray. You guys make sure you pray too before you uh, hit play, okay? Amen, amen, before you come on any video. So listen, the enemy has been exposed. This is what the Lord was saying to me. Um, actually, this is a couple of days in the making. Um, the enemy has been exposed, okay? The scripture that went along with... Um, the number 601, one of the scriptures is Exodus um, 20 and 26. And it says, do not go up to my altar on, uh, on the steps or your private parts may be exposed. Okay. You will be bare. We are all bare before the Lord. Okay. Nothing is hidden and nothing is covered up. I don't care how dark it is. The, the Bible says that um, night is like day to the Lord, right? They, they this, he sees clearly. You cannot hide. We cannot hide. Your enemies cannot hide from God. Okay. So when you come into the presence of the Lord and you are unclean or 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 and have an ulterior motive, that a secret motive. Okay, you will be exposed as if you were completely naked, bare. All right. So. Um, we, you know, I was going to say you, but we, we cannot hide from God. He is all knowing. He is all seeing and he is almighty. Amen. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You guys stay with me because I have, you know, um, something to share and let you know how this word came about. All right. One of the things, um, I hope I don't forget to say, well, let's see. I'm trying to think where I'm going here. Cause this is. Let's move on. God is exposing your enemies. They can no longer hide. You guys, our enemies can no longer hide. Okay. They can no longer smile in your face. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They can no longer smile in your face. The book of Shandia, see, and plot behind your back. The devil is a liar and they have been exposed in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Listen, God told me it was clear this morning. He said, judgment is coming to those that have wronged you, that have wronged us, okay? And want to do us harm. We can't play with God's children. Oh my God. It, it, we can't play. I, I got to slow down because I'll jump ahead of myself. We, God does not play about us, y'all. He doesn't. He doesn't. He loves us. Amen. He loves his children. All right obedient and doing what the Lord says do. He love us. Let's, let me move on. The Bible said, listen, God's word is true. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. Let's read it. Romans 12 and 19. KJV. It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. The Lord woke me up. Um, the night of, let me see. Um, 
the 20th of this month. This is November. So 11, 20, 23, a couple of nights ago. And I guess I should have just said the night before last. Okay. That's what we used to say. And let me know. Okay. That there was demonic activity. I was walking to the bathroom because I drink too much water at night. Um, I was walking to the bathroom and the Lord spoke to me very clearly and said demonic activity. So y'all know how it go. We get to praying, right? The blood of Jesus. The devil is a liar. We casting out every de demon, every spirit of witchcraft and, and every warlock and witch, spirit of sorcery and divination, spirit of sexual immorality, whatever it is, it has to go. I send it back to the pits of hell. So I begin to pray and not loud and not all that because uh, I'm still in my place. But hey, when it's time to pray, it's time to pray. So I'm praying and I went into prayer against the forces of darkness. I prayed and I went back to bed. Amen. Lord woke me up again. Okay. Because I guess the devil thought he was just going to really keep on uh, trying. I anointed myself, covered myself. I uh, anointed myself with oil. So to be clear um, and anointed the area around me. Uh, where me and my daughter sleep because I'm with my daughter, you guys, um, with family again. And, um, and, and I went back to sleep. Praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, amen. But I did, um, pray in the hallway, you know, where the demonic activity was. So there's a small hallway and I don't know what he thought he was doing, trying to run rapid. That is the way to the bathroom, but the devil is a liar. Amen. You guys know your authority in Jesus Christ. We are powerful in him and because of him. Amen. Amen. So the Lord revealed to me, um, yesterday who it was. I sensed it that night couple nights ago but yesterday okay let me tell you something this person thought that they were hiding all right and God showed me in the spirit that they think that they are well hidden okay as if they have on a very dark cloak that's what they're thinking because it's like hey hi you guys know how it go the blood of Jesus okay smiling in your face all the time hating you to the core all right this is what the Lord was letting me know they absolutely hate me without cause, but God. Okay, let's move on. So they feel that they have on this very dark cloak, okay, that they are well hidden. I do not know, all right? But God showed me um, their cloak, how it actually is when you see in the spirit. So God showed me, let me show you this cloak, okay? It was clear from head to toe. I could see right through it. Thank you, Jesus, okay? Thank you, Jesus. I could see right through it. And so I'm like, I did nothing to you. I love you I, I ha in Jesus name. So let me tell you, God will expose your enemies. Okay. Listen to me, you guys, this is the hard part. This is the part that really makes it, um, a, a challenge. And unfortunately I am no stranger to this situation. I'm not. It can be family, y'all. I know y'all know it. I know some of you guys can attest to it. It can be family. That's the hardest part because they're so close to you, you know? You're like, we share the same blood. What is the issue? Okay, let me tell you. It could be your best friend. Hey, girl. Hey, bro. How you doing? All the time hating your guts, right? Okay, it could be it could be that coworker always smiling in your face. Oh, let me help you with your assignment. Let me help you with your pro project all along, hating you and wanting your position, wishing you were gone. Okay, listen, some of these people want you to die. And if they could, they would kill you themselves. But the devil is a liar and the blood of Jesus covers us. Thank you, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So listen, it could be very well your girlfriend or your boyfriend that you should not have. Okay. Plotting your demise as well. We got to stay prayed up, you guys. Okay. We have to be vigilant and stay before God in prayer and in fasting and doing what he tells us to do, right? In the name of Jesus. So God will show you your enemies that are trying to hide in plain sight. But see, because God is exposes. You can't wear a cover with God. Amen. You cannot. All right. They're hiding in plain sight right in front of our faces. So they think, but God said, this is it. I'm taking the cover off. I'm exposing that booger. That's what my mom would say. <laughs> amen. Amen. So God sent me to let you know 
that um, they have been exposed. Your enemies, our enemies, okay, children of God, have been exposed, okay? And judgment is coming without a doubt. God said it. This is what the Lord spoke to me today, okay? Judgment is coming without a doubt to them. I began to cry. It hurt, my, it hurt me, okay? It hurt my heart. I love them. This is family. This is These are people that I love and that, that I have been with all of their life. Okay. I, I don't, it just, it just hurt me. What can we do? You know? So I began to cry and my heart was just heavy, you know, because, um, they're hating me without real cause. Like what, what, what is the issue? Why, why do you hate me? So we know that it's the spirit of God in us because the devil hates us, right? We know that. And he'll use whoever is available. Oh, y'all, I forgot to turn on my car for some air. Hang on. I'm gonna do that right now because I'm getting hot. So I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So listen, 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 listen. God, um, when you are a child of God, one of his chosen vessels, we do not have to worry. Okay. We do not have to worry about it because he got us. He has us covered, right? We are so covered by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are covered by the blood. Listen, Psalm 105, 14 and 15 says this. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved or reprimanded kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That is the word of God. All right. That is the word of God. Exodus 23 and 22. This is what it says. It says, if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, you guys go read the scripture so you'll know what's going on here um, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. Okay. God is our protector. Amen. Amen. He is our great rear guard. Okay. That is Isaiah 58 and eight. It says, by no means do we rejoice. Okay. God is saying that by no means do we rejoice in, in, um, the punishment of our enemies. Okay. The judgment that's coming on our enemies. We are not to rejoice. Okay. It hurt my heart and it scared me too. Y'all, it, it scared me. I'm thinking, oh my God, if you listen, the Lord said that he warned them time and time again. Remember, we don't even know how long the Lord has been telling them, get yourself together. Stop it. Don't touch my anointed. Stop doing what you're doing. And it comes a point in time where he says enough is enough and he brings judgment. Right? He does. Oh my God. Woo. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So listen, so we are to pray for our, our enemies, okay? Don't forget, we are to pray for them. That is what the word of the Lord says. Pray for your enemies, all right? Oh my God, I had something else. Oh, and the last thing, this right here shook me. Oh, oh, and it's still shaking me. It shook me. The Lord said, don't be surprised if they start dropping like flies. That's what I heard. I'm only a messenger. Let's, let's pray for them, you guys. Okay, listen, that's the word. I can't hardly um, take no more anyway. That's the word. I know that I love to encourage me, but my job is to come on here and do what my father says do. Whatever it is, whatever he puts in my mouth to speak, that is what I will speak. Amen. Listen, I'm praying for you guys. That is the word. God said he's bringing judgment. That's it. That's all. You, you can't get in his way. He said what he said. He said what he said. Um, so listen, beloveds, I love y'all so much. I'm praying for all of us. All right. Um, whew, that's all I got to say. So listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just not coming back, check it out. It is okay because the most important thing is that you're back now, right? Amen. Amen. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. I'm praying for you. Thank you for praying for me because I know you are. I love y'all. I love y'all. Listen, I love you, but Jesus and Jesus, there's no but. I love you and Jesus loves you so much more. Until next time. God said what he said, all right? And your enemies have been exposed, all right? They are not hidden. And God is bringing judgment to them. Let's pray for our enemies, okay? I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye-bye.